Hey guys, Half Mob here, and today I've another Minecraft tutorial for you. So this is my first video of 2014. What I've got in front of me is a combination lock. This type of combination lock was first created by Mumbo Jumbo, and it was later refined by Kim Mischief HD, and now I've got my design. So I've hooked this combination lock up to a store, but you can hook it up to whatever you want. You can also set a combination to whatever you want. But for an example, I've set it to having all arrows pointing into the middle. Um, having the items facing this way is the only way that this door will open. You can have it any other way and it will not open. Here is the redstone. As you can see, it's a bit more compact than Kid Mischief and Mumbo Jumbos. It also doesn't use any pistons and the combination is really easy to set. So if I want to change what the combination is, all I need to do is change what the items in this item frame is. So if I were to add an arrow to that, turn it to face the bottom, I'll need, I've changed this one to that. So I'll explain how you can set your own combination and how to make this now. To make this you want to start with finding where you want to place the input panel, then place three blocks along, three blocks off, and fill in the gap. This is where the item frames are going to go, and then you can place your items in it. You then want to go behind the 3x3 wall you just made, place comparators behind each block where the item frames are going. What you do now is place a block in between these two comparators, place the redstone repeater going into a block, place a block on top of the redstone repeater, and place another block in the face of that block. You have something that comes out like this. You then need to place a block either side of the redstone repeater with torches on top, and place a block on top of each of the redstone torches, with the redstone torch coming out of the block, and that will be opposite of the comparators. You also need to place redstone along the top of the middle three blocks. Now you need to place redstone along these three blocks here. So it will connect to the repeater and it will be in front of these two blocks. Your output is going to be a redstone torch here. And that's just going to come out here. And you can do whatever you want from it there. I'm just going to do pistons, and that means when I'm using it, you can hear and see it. So what we're going to do now is add a code to it, because this is pretty useless at the moment. Nothing happens unless they're all at one. So what you want to do is place redstone beside this comparator. Place a comparator going into that redstone. Then place a block with an item frame and an item. So it's going to glitch out a bit until you place down the item frame. That's just because you've made a clock here. But as soon as the item frame with items added, it'll be fine. So you're going to do this to all of these four sides. So I'll speed this up a bit. To set the code, what you need to do is have these items at the back, rotated one less than the ones at the front. So if you have this in the back, you have this at the front. So as you can see, I've got all this at the back. So all I need to do is do this at the front, and the pistons will trigger. So if you want, say, them all pointing into the middle like I had. What you need to do is look at, say, the top right one. This is facing the bottom left, and this so hole is going to be facing straight down. Then the top left is facing the bottom right, so that's going to be facing straight to the right. The bottom left is facing 
up to the right. So since that is number one, that's a default setting when you place it. It's going to be zero, so you don't need an item there. Then this one is up to the left, so it's going to be straight to the left. And as soon as that's set, since the code's already been entered, this is going to go up. So that's it. And that's it. You're done. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, and you can leave a comment, leaving feedback. Um, you can also subscribe. Also, I'm going to put Mumbo Jumbo and Kid Mischief's channels and videos down in the description. Please check them out, they're amazing. And that's all for me. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you next time.